Welcome back to the Google AI Studio series and in this video we will learn how to reset all the prompt settings. So let's say we were trying out some things with our prompts and in the process of that we changed couple of settings which are present here in the right side of this screen. So now let me show you this entire thing through one demo. So here as you can see the default value of this temperature setting is 1. So let's say I changed this to some other value for my testing purpose and similarly I have enabled this structured output and here in the advanced settings. So I have updated the safety settings as well. So let's change this to block view and in this stop sequence as well. Let's say I have added one stop sequence and in the output length also I have updated to my custom value. And here this top P is also changed to some other value than this default value. So now let's say we have done all these things in the process of testing our prompts and now we want to change these settings back to the default values. So one option is that we make changes to each of these settings one by one manually. But there is another option to reset all the settings in one go which is this reset default settings option. So this will reset all the settings to the default values. So let's click on this. So let's see one by one. So as you can see the temperature is again set to the one which is the default value. And similarly this structured output is disabled. And here also you can see the stop sequence and this output length is also reset. And same is the case with this top V option as well. And if I click on this edit safety settings. So you can see here it is not reset to the default. So for this safety settings we have this option reset defaults. So through this option we can reset all the safety settings here. So let's click on this and reset to defaults. So now I hope you are learning new things from this Google AI studio series and if that is the case then do consider subscribing the channel and also do hit the like button if this video was useful to you.